What's up YouTube? This is Silverbender188 and today in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make that lift you just saw. Now you're going to go ahead and start up your forge. Alright. And where we're going to be doing this is way over there in the canyon. So what we're going to do... Here's a nifty little trick a couple of my friends on live show me. You get across the forge real nice and quickly. Well, something like a 5x5 five five pellet. Go all the way. Hold left trigger and move the left thumbstick to twist ya. But as you're doing it, press Y to delete it when you're going the, towards the direction where you want to go. So since we want to go to the canyon, we go like this. And now we're quickly over here. Because I'm lazy. Alright, we're going to start somewhere, just anywhere in here. Let's go ahead and just create a flat surface for us to walk on. I'm going to make a rotation snap of 90. Since everyone's a Nazi about the A coordinates deal, I found a cheap little trick. Just get it to the relative close position where you want it to be. Then go to edit coordinates. You shouldn't have to edit too much. Okay. Alright, now next, depending on how high you want your lift, will determine this next bit. You're going to go into Gadgets, Cannons Men, and it has to be the Cannon Vehicle, otherwise you probably won't get enough lift. Alright, use Edit Coordinates. We're going to put the height at, uh, let's do 2.8. So now, grab another. 2.8 and let's shift it over until we get the exact position. Alright, as you can see with two, we get pretty just two alone gives us pretty decent height. Now depending on how how high you're making your ship will determine how many of these you're gonna put down. So in our case we're just gonna put down probably about three. Alright, there we go. Now you're going to test it, see how high you go, and exactly where you want it to be, turn into monitor. Next we're going to go to, uh, we'll use one way shields, two. Set the snap to 90, and depending on how you want to enter your lift, we'll now lift up a little bit, that way it's more over where you want it to be. Now go back down to your... Now keep in mind when going this, do not hold forward if you want accurate uh, results. Just walk into it and just go straight up. Let go. See, ma make sure you pass it. Okay. Seeing that we pass it, what you use as the tunnel is up to you, but I always like to use the actual tunnel piece. Which... I always forget which end it's in. Is it decorative? No. Hmm. Yep, there it is. You're going to want to go with tunnel short. And you're going to want to place it what, another reason why I don't like using the thing is it'll mess up us uh, that kind of stuff see what is that with, with edit rotation 
or with edit coordinates, it does not work with all the rolls and stuff. So that is one of the reasons why I don't like to use it. All right, now once you get it, I recommend probably changing the snap to about mm, try 30 percent, and you basically want a kind of a gradual increase to help cushion the the entry of the tunnel. kind of make it look like it's an actual tube for entry. Alright, see, there you go. And now, we're going to test it. I mean, granted, I already know it's not going to work, but I'm going to show you why. And how, it w how we do get it to work. See if we go up. Well, if, well, what's going to happen is when we actually place our floor, you'll notice we came in through it softly so we didn't hit the ceiling abruptly and just die. But the problem is, is once we go through that first shield, now they're kind of stuck in there because if we're, because let's place our floor. Kind of get it in that hook you see right here. Because if when they come through, they're going to be slowed down, but then they have to do this. They have to actually bounce over, and it gives away the realism of, like, entering a grab lift. And let's move it over to more towards the shield. There we go. Now, in order to fix that, we just do basically what we've been doing. Gadgets, one-way shield. You're going to place it, except this time you're going to kind of give that one a little angle and then the final one to help prevent campers hiding inside the tunnel and such there you go so now if we go back down and we go through come back up up here now you don't have to do this a lot of people don't like it but you can use this basically as an anti-camping tool go ahead and go into spawning kill boundaries a standard kill boundary you're going to turn it into a box decrease the width to about 0.3 Go ahead and decrease the top. Actually, let's go ahead and decrease the bottom down to zero. And then make it about a two and then the length. Decrease it to where it's about the kind of center it and get about the rough shape of the entry maybe make it just a little bit now what this will help prevent do is people coming over and just waiting for you to kind of come out and go whack they, it's more of a frontal approach I mean granted that's a little bit too hard to you know, prevent, because what's going to stop people from just standing here waiting for you to come up, blast it, like, like, nothing. But this kill barrier prevents them from at least getting over to the sides and immediately being able to, like, come around and assassinate you. So, that's how you basically make a grab lift. Um, you know, you can maybe design it a few, or make it look spiffy, per se, by adding some, you know, maybe going into sceneries, or not scenery structures. Um, let's see.
kind of make it look, I don't know, I could just kind of spruce, spruce up the area and make it look more of a, kind of like an actual grav lift versus just a little thing cannon right there. I mean, granted, yes, that's a little half-assed right there, but, um, and one reason you wanted to make sure you don't hold forward when going up is this reason. See, I'm holding forward. You just hit your roof. You just hit your head right up on the roof. So, you know, you want to generally stay away from doing that. So, yeah. Uh, this has been Silverbender188. Thanks for watching. Sorry I haven't made one of these in a while. But I'm still here and I'm still making them. And I'll see you in my next Forge World Tricks. Bye.